It's time for me to point out all the contradictions and lies that the Tall Knight said in his new YouTube video. This is part six of the story of the Tall Knight. If you want to find the other episodes, they're linked in the description. It's so easy to press them. Here we go. During that space of time, while I was still single, I was scrolling on TikTok and saw a thirst trap of this girl, so I went to her Instagram. Even though she turned out to be 16, which I don't know how I missed that. So the Tall Knight was watching a 16-year-old girl's thirst trap on his For You page and decided to go hit her up in the DMs. He says if he knew her age, he would never have talked to her. When his text messages to her read, I'm basically begging at this point. Just waiting for you to tell me to go away because I don't got the willpower to stop talking to you otherwise. Either text me back faster or block me because the suspense is just making me more obsessed. Dude, you're so far out of my league, the fuck? Unless I'm just intimidating in a creepy way. He knew what he was doing would be creepy. How come he was so obsessed with her, just waiting for her to text him back, but he couldn't even bother to know her age? Well, that's because he knew her age from the start. The entire conversation was PG. It was appropriate. If you're flirting with a 16-year-old, no matter what you're talking about, it's not appropriate. You don't have to be asking her to come over to hook up. If you're sexualizing her innocence and spamming her and begging for her, that's inappropriate, buddy. In the state of Ohio, where I live, the age of consent is 16. I don't even have anything to say on this. I just gotta say this did not help his case, bro. Oh, but she could consent. That's my reaction. And yeah, that conversation lasted a couple of days. It was like a, a slight back- Wow, that's funny. Because what you told everybody, what you told me, up until just now, was that you unadded her the following day. But good thing we called you out on that so you could change your story up and pretend like nothing was wrong. If I'm being honest, I don't think I deserve my platform of 1.6 million anymore. That's However, right. I am going to continue with my content creation. Because I still have thousands of fans that love my content and don't want- If you don't think you deserve a platform anymore, then why are you making content? The only fans you still have are people who haven't seen my videos or Professor Pippi's videos. Because I can guarantee you that nobody who saw my videos still support you. Anyways, what do you guys think of this? Do you believe Tall Knight? Do you believe me and Professor Pippi? Let me know in the comments, and as always, Fall for more.